Good morning. It is August 27th, 2023. Approximately 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning. It's been a while since I made a video. I believe uh, last time I made it is when I played the stress blend for the month of August. I just want to do uh, an update today to kind of show uh, the results. It's been 20 days now and I'd say it worked pretty well. Um, a lot of those spots the heat stress spots have went away uh, the lawn did recover got its green and to be fair the temperatures the temperatures were still in 100 plus I mean yesterday was 109 um, but we're we have we don't have it as long throughout the day because now the sun sets much earlier now so about eight o'clock it's already dark and so, I mean, right now it's like 90 something degrees this morning. So it's not too hot. And it usually starts heating up at 100 degrees or so, roughly around, I wanna say maybe one or two o'clock. Plus I got this big old tree that keeps it shaded kind of throughout the day. So the center part of the lawn actually doesn't get hit by full sun until like after one o'clock and uh, it's been I guess it's been trying to been keeping the lawn from getting stressed out so much but uh yeah so today I'm gonna do a mow and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the double dark next week this is the last week of uh August so Next week, I believe, is going to be Labor Day. And I want to get it to green up uh, before then so that I can pop for the holidays. And then after that, I will lay down some Hydro Tang. Probably be the last application of the season. Um, I've checked the forecast and we're still looking at 100 degree weather at least for a few more weeks. It is trending down. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just lay that down. And then if I still have time, if I'm not tired, I'm gonna lay down some additional Celsius uncertainty and some spots, spot spray it. I still got some weeds kind of over there on that end. And that's another thing I did uh, uh, this month. I did lay down Celsius uncertainty approximately over two weeks ago. I had a bunch of sedges popping up and it did a great job uh, given had 100 degree weather. It did not yellow my lawn out. Uh, I used, I don't know how to tell you the measurements of surfactant that I used, but it's a two second pour in a four gallon backpack sprayer of my Yard Mastery backpack sprayer. So yeah, no yellowing whatsoever. The uh, Spurge browned up within like four days. And the Sedge at this point, have died. They have yet turned yellow and they're all shriveled up. I'll show you an example here. I also sprayed over here in the rock bed of my entrance. So you can see I sprayed the yard and this at the same time. And this is where the sedge is now. The state of the sedge. This one still looks like it's hanging on. That one's gonna die. And got some this was a carpet grass right here that's dying off this one took the this one's actually taking a lot longer but yeah all the sedges are basically gone you got sedge there that spurge is slowly dying it's not dying as quick as the other ones uh this, this area of the lawn gets shaded quite a bit so i i imagine that's why it's taking a lot longer but yeah, I'm gonna give this a mow this morning. Go ahead and put this up on the tripod. Get you guys uh, some action footage. I haven't made too many videos this month. Uh, ran out of space on my camera. So, kind of uh, clear that up for some space and get some good footage. And one of the announcements I do have to make is I am planning on selling this McLean. It served me well for past two, three months. 
I'll just say for the season of 2023, it's transformed the lawn to a golf course lawn, like how I wanted it. And now I'm looking to take the step, step further and basically graduate myself to a greens mower. Looking at a Toro GM 1600. Um, that'll be my next mower. And if I don't get a chance of obtaining that mower, I may look into a Rolex. The new Rolex X25 is coming out. And then there's also the Real Rollers uh, Revolution 26 uh, made by Massport with some modifications done by Lee Purcell over at Real Rollers. So those are my options right now. Um, take over the duties of what this McLean has done for me. But don't get me wrong, this mower has done well for me and it's gotten what I wanted. But yep, let's go ahead and get it started. clippings that I picked up today. The color is looking really good. A lot of healthy turf right there. We got a lot of ants in there. I, I did run over a few ant piles. So. Unfortunately, it's uh, couldn't put any Advy on fire ant bait and wait a few days to mow. I had to mow today if I wanted to get all my furt in. So just have to uh, dump this out and mulch it out in the back. Um, we have an area where we can put all that stuff up. So, not bad thing. Yeah, I forgot I also mentioned that I'm gonna be laying down Carbon Pro G, my soil amendment, uh, before I lay the double dark. And we'll be putting this down at the five pounds per thousand. And I believe the setting is 15. I've got it marked here on my Earthway spreader. Yep, so I've got it on the 15. Basically, I just need to uh, change this knot down to 15, right there, and then tie it up, and then double check if it's opening correctly. I did have some issues with the earthway spreader. Um, last time I laid the stress blend, um, it was getting stuck, and I think what happened was the screws a bit tight down here on these areas and I wasn't able to like slide all the way when I opened it but now I loosened them up a little bit and it seems to be working fine we'll see and I still you know I'm still using this piece here where you you're going around the edge you can see on the reflection or not but basically that, that prevents you from spreading out too much out on the sidewalk and like in your driveway areas so yeah, I'm just sliding this back and forth and I'm going around the perimeters. Then I go full, full open um, when I'm going, my passes back and forth. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole bag in there. I believe, I can't remember. So I'm putting 6,000 square feet and I'm doing five pounds per. So I need about 30 pounds. And this is a, a 40 pound bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and just lay the whole thing um, that's just basically what I do all the time. I do one bag uh, 
per yard every time I apply my soil amendment. And uh, I've been applying it since uh, we did top dressing in May. So June, July, August, this will be my fourth one this September. So yeah, I'm gonna lay that down and then after that I'll be putting down double dark. Basically, a compost ball char composition. Spread this all around and we water it in. Okay, I had a slight malfunction with it. Um, apparently, this bag here is. Is a little has a little moisture in it and had some clumps on the bottom so it wasn't coming out of the spreader so i had to empty it out and put it back in the bag and kind of put my hand and kind of stab it a little bit to get it loose um, i think this is one of the drawbacks of carbon pro g is the clumps that it has a lot of heard a lot of complaints about uh, when people are using this so uh, i have never experienced it but this is the first time so now i understand what they're talking about so I took a, basically half the bag out and loaded it here. Uh, I got maybe about 900 so square feet in this little section here. So I wanna make a one little pass and see how it goes. And then uh, once I get it out, we can come back and uh, cover more areas. show you guys see how it's all muddy in here yeah see that's all wet stuff right there and that's what I have to take everything out and basically that's all moisture that's causing this plus a little bit of my sweat dripping but it's not falling through very well spun out but I'm gonna have to lay down a little bit at a time if I want to get this done today started coming out after 10 attempts. Terrible, terrible. Uh, I still have one more spot over here to go and I got probably not that much left. It all started pouring out when it decided to just cooperate with me. So I'm gonna get this part done and then uh, whatever's left I'm gonna try to go back over that center spot. Actually got that done. That was a little painful. Uh, it was the first time I came across a problem with Carbon Pro G. May have second thoughts if I uh, have that come across again. That's a uh, that was pretty bad. Wasted probably about 45 minutes just trying to get it out of the spreader. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break. I don't think I'm gonna fertilize right now. I'm gonna wait till like later tonight, and then I'll water it in, do the hydrotain and all that. Um, Carbon Pro G is not gonna burn up the lawn, get the high heat during the day. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean this up, let it dry out, and then uh, do it again later on this evening with the double dark. All right, it's 4:30, and we have some rain in the forecast coming down. Oh, the shuttle. Uh, yeah. Thunderstorm's coming in, about 30 minutes now. And uh, I'm gonna try to lay this double dark in this wind. I don't know if this is a good idea, but this is my only chance uh, to get the fertilizer down. Gotta do it now. Alright, 
wind's picking up really hard now. I got about this much left. I'm gonna finish it off back in the center lawn, which is the primary lawn. Oh man, I think the coverage has been pretty good. I didn't have any problems, any issues, having it uh, fall out or anything. So I'll try to get this done now. All right, that took me only about 15 minutes. I'm trying to blow all the excess out into the lawn. Hopefully I can get it all in there. He said this one has 6% nitro or 6% iron. So if you leave it on the concrete, it's gonna stain it. So it's very important that you blow all the stuff off and get it into the grass. As windy as it is, I probably broke blowing it off the street. Let's see a few right here. Hoping it stays onto the grass, but nothing you can really do about it. Just do the best you can. Yeah, I really hope the rain comes down. I re really need it. At least I need it. I mean, it's, I recorded that we didn't have rain since June 20th. And that was the birthday of my uh, my newborn son. It rained on the week that he was born. And we haven't had rain ever since. So this is a must, definitely a must. And it's perfect to have this fall down while I'm laying my fur for the month of September, get it ready for Labor Day weekend. Nothing better than to flash your green, dark green lawn for Labor Day. It's always nice to have your lawn shine during the holidays. It stands out, you know, especially when you have guests coming over. I don't have guests coming over this year, but still, Good to show it off all right let me show you what the granules look like i didn't get a chance to show you but uh, there it is you got a little bit of that there got a little bit of the uh orange yeah i'd say it's pretty evenly spread out this was a pretty this was a success i see it all around can't catch it on the camera but no i see it with my with my eye uh this one spread out pretty well no issues whatsoever so now we just wait for the rain. I think uh, debating whether or not I need to go fill up the, uh, the backpack spray with hydrotain now. That way it will be a good idea to spray it while it's raining so it gets soaked into the lawn. That's the best, that's the best scenario. Oh, by the way, I was gonna mention that uh, I think the uh, the earthway spreader had a bug in there somewhere it was like kind of stuck here and it, I think it was kind of attached to this too it was spinning I don't think it really had anything to do with the carbon pro G getting stuck but it was just something I noticed when I was uh, cleaning it out after I was done but uh let's see what time it is 4 50 yeah starting to sprinkle now it's perfect so happy that this is going on we're due for rain. Still got some granulars on the concrete. You can kind of see the water dropping. See it? Yep. It's coming. There we go. I might look like an idiot trying to put down hydrotain while it's raining. People don't know exactly what I'm doing. I may actually forego hydrotain because uh, I checked the uh, forecast again for the month of September. Um, I think we only have like maybe two or three days of 100 degree temps. And then the rest are all like in the 90s, high 90s, and it starts getting to the low 90s. So may not necessarily be... Uh, necessity to put hydrotain down i may actually forego it i mean i've got the main stuff that i want to put down which is my uh, double dark 
It's my last vert for the season. And uh, Carbon Pro G, last soil amendment for the season. Um, Nutrisolve, I am not putting down because I want to see how green Double Dark gets. So I'm going to forego Nutrisolve for the month of September and just see how the Double Dark pans out. But uh, yeah, guys, this is it. Signing out. Uh, I'll post an update later, maybe uh, Labor Day weekend. And see, hopefully uh, by then uh, the lawn will get green. Let me just uh, show you guys the color right now. Just try to remember it, how it looks right now. And then we'll compare um, Labor Day weekend. And we'll see how dark it gets. All right, guys, signing out. Well, guys, it's 524 and nothing came down. It's a bit depressing. I went all out and laid the fertilizer down and uh, checked the weather for back down to like 38%. And then within 15 minutes from now, it's going to be 16%. So I'm not going to get any rain. Pretty sad. Getting a little depressed here. I haven't had rain since June 20th. That side of the sky over there is light. It's dark over here, and it's just passing down that way. So it's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to hand water this in probably sometime tomorrow morning. But yeah, here's my update. Sad update. <laughs>